Whether it's poetic or not, the fact that I did it, I took an opportunity and I was not letting go of it. And these are the fruits of what happened. I love it. I love it. Talk about the last four years, like what's the point of like not being in the final last year and not coming back? Um Last year, I wasn't prepared as much as I should have been. I had COVID, I hurt my back. I had less than seven days of actually practicing. And I still came out of it with a medal, but I know that I'm better than just a bronze medal. And it was pretty disappointing. And people told me to be proud and I was proud, but I knew I could do better. And so coming back here and just proving it to myself, that's poetic. That's a lot of anxiety. I had a lot of, um, not trauma per se, but I was just kind of frightened. Um, if I did one slip up like I did last year, that could be the end of a world title. But again, I had way more training this year than I did last year and I just had to trust the process and my coaches Terry and Izzy just kept telling me you got this you got this and when I was done they were like welcome back I'm like yes I'm back oh, it's great how much time did you take off after last year and what was the process like getting back into competition this year oh my gosh I took eight months off after Oslo and it wasn't really voluntarily it was more so after the Olympics so many people needed my attention or wanted my attention and so I made a pursuit and went after as many as I could because you know I just got an Olympic gold and I wanted to experience it since nobody was really there and so I did that and then getting back into it I think I cried for like a week every other day and Diamond Precious was my training partner and I was like hey man could you be like gentle like I don't remember people touching me and hitting me this hard and it was rough but she was like my guiding light Terry and Izzy were like hey take it one step at a time and I freaking made it here I'm like I'm, I don't even know by the grace of God like I just have so many people in my corner just believing in me even when I don't believe in myself, because I promise you, I kid you not, I wanted to quit. I was like, I think this is it. I, I, this sport is hurting me. I'm gonna be 30 in October, October 11th, and yeah, these kids are getting younger and younger and faster and faster, but I can hang with them, so it's cool. <laughs> Yeah, I think I've said it again and again, the future is bright and Japan has so many opportunities for their young girls to wrestle and to just be in the room with so many incredible wrestlers. So without a doubt, I know she's gonna learn from this and she's gonna get better and I'm gonna have to be looking back behind me because I know there's a target, but I'm a moving target. <laughs> so that time off, um, you think helped reignite? Kind of some of that passion for you? Or maybe was it getting back into the wrestling that maybe helped reignite it? I think it was getting back into it and wanting to just help Diamond and the other young girls that are coming after me. I, I could not think about myself because it was so difficult. So I had to think externally and go, you know what, Tamara? You have so much to offer these girls that are behind you. So let's do that. But also show them that you can have fun doing it. And that's truly what motivated me. And I've told you guys again and again, I'm like, by the grace of God, I am here. And one of my goals is to just be a light to the, the young girls of tomorrow. And I think I'm doing it. I'm trying. I'm trying. So where do you go from here? Do you take time off? How do you enjoy what you just I am without a doubt taking time off. I've already got multiple trips set in motion. Um, 
Next week, one of my friends, you might know her, Maya Nelson. Her birthday is the 20th, and so she's gonna come down, and we're gonna celebrate her. And then the next weekend, I'm going to Florida for about four days, and I'm gonna do that with my husband. And then two weeks later, I'll be in Las Vegas celebrating my birthday with my little cousin, my twin, and my little sister, 25, 30, and 21. And we're gonna go to an Usher concert. I'm so excited! I mean, amongst other things, we're gonna see the Jabberwockies, and I love dancing, so there's, there's a lot. I have a lot of trips already set, and Waylon Baptist, they're inducting me into the Hall of Fame as well, and that's October 29th. So I've got a lot already on my plate, so it's nice coming out of this with the big smile on my face and a win. So those next trips aren't, you know, dreadful, because they're giving it to me for Olympic gold, but it's nice to get another gold. To have a smile. Uh, uh, you, you know, um, one one trip at a time. One trip at a time. I know, I know it is coming up. I don't want to think about it. I don't want to think about it. Don't make me think about it, please. Last question, please. Yes. Oh, oh Eric, sorry. <laughs>